Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is video number one and a basic overview on the Native Instruments Tractor Control Z2. There it is, that is the mixer, it's a two channel mixer, also comes with the program Tractor Scratch Pro. So I'm, uh, I'll just put the camera a little bit closer, like that, right. At the moment I've got plugged into the Z2, I've got two Technics SL1200s and virtual vinyl ready to go. So the mixer itself comes with two pieces of virtual vinyl, also comes with some virtual CDs. So you can use the mixer with CDs, vinyl, and all the program. That's quite important. So within the flick of a switch, you can go from a normal CD to virtual CD, but of course you have to change them. You can go from virtual vinyl, or you can go from normal vinyl. But again, you know, if you're using virtual vinyl on the right hand deck, and you need to use real vinyl, then of course all you've got to do is take the virtual vinyl off the other deck and switch it over and press the button. Bang, away you go. Also comes with this card, which is very, very important. Do not discard. Should under there, they should put, do not discard this card. Okay. Go to that website, native-instruments.com forward slash go dash Z2. And underneath here, there are two codes. One code to activate the hardware, the other code is to activate the software, and you will have to register in the Native Instruments website as well. All right, this video, basic overview and a look at the mixer itself. So, two channel, crossfade, uh, a couple of traits here which are near enough exactly the same as the likes of a CDJ. We can have some hot cues, so we can form hot cues if we want to. I'll just give you a demonstration there. Oh, wrong one, on B, sorry. If I want to get rid of that, press shift, and there we go. So I can now form another Q, or four if I want to. filter which you just saw and low mid and high gain at the top here this is where we can switch from virtual vinyl CD or normal vinyl if we want to the mixer itself what they've done is they've set it out so it's exactly the same near enough as a normal conventional mixer that mixer <laughs> I can leave that in hey hey you stole your mix from my mixer boy <laughs> at the front here oh god I'm going to leave that down. At the front, we can, um, let me just turn that off. We've got uh, X fade, which is short for cross fade, reverse, and curve. So if you do like to do the likes of a hamster scratch, just switch that on to reverse. Uh, at the back, let me have a look. I'll tell you what, if I just take the, uh, do my punk kind of thing there, take the camera off the stand, we'll have a look at the back. I mean, in future videos, what we'll do very shortly as well, we're going to have a more in-depth look at the software in conjunction with the hardware as well. So we have our input. So you can see there, you can plug in either your phono or your line. These things here are the binding posts for your earth cables. So if you are using vinyl and you seem to have like a bit of a buzzing sound, it could be possibly because you haven't got them earthed. That is really important. Your output, there are three outputs. There is booth for your monitors, there is RCA out, but if you are gonna use this on the road professionally, I highly recommend you use XLR. Your USB into your PC, this is for the software to, to enable it to talk to the hardware. On off power supply, and here you can see a couple of USB ports. Great, because you can use other uh, native instruments uh, units, for example, effects, etc. And again, I'll, oh, I'm uh, slowly going a bit closer there. I will, uh, I'll show you a couple of those. I haven't got them, but uh, I can show you them online in a future video. So, if you have a look yourself, you'll see it's pretty similar to a conventional mixer. But the difference is, is that, you know, it's, it's almost, if you imagine, I don't know, a human being, and you imagine a computer, two completely different things. Well, what we've got here is we've actually got now a human being, 
but it's like a bionic man human being. The human being being the original mixer and the computer being the original computer. Well now, this is the bionic man. This is a real bloke or a real woman, but with computerized gizmos inside them because this talks to the program and the program talks back to it. So I know this much so far and hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I'll get to know a little bit more about this, but it's, it's a good way of using your files and going back to basics of real vinyl. In fact, it may be a great way of you realizing how fantastic virtual, or not virtual, sorry, real vinyl is. Anyone out there who likes real vinyl will know that it's, it's just beyond comparison, to be quite honest. And I do find a lot of drum and bass DJs still to this day use vinyl. So, of course, virtual vinyl at the moment, if we just put that back down there. So if you can hear, if I just bring the volume down, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn the camera in a really awkward angle and put the microphone near the needle. That is the sound of virtual vinyl. That is pretty much it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, there'll be more to come, but you're looking at the Tractor Control Z2. Very simple sort of video showing you what to expect to get. Not what it can do, because what this can do is probably completely beyond the scope of what I know, but I will endeavor to try and give you as much information on this in future videos. I'll put a link in the description. Control Z2, like I said, it comes with Tractor Scratch Pro, which is one of the better softwares out there. All right, thank you very much. Practice and enjoy.